Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Plug Power, ticker symbol PLUG. And here I am recording this on Friday, May 3rd during market hours. And the current price of Plug is right around $2.69, being up almost 10% on the day. And so, you know, I did want to dive into the chart here, uh, but I also wanted to mention that they are reporting earnings on May 9th, so that's next Thursday at 8 a.m. Eastern, and I will be streaming that, so make sure you tune in. But before I do get into the chart right here, I did want to take a step back because I have noticed a pattern with the chart that has stood out and it relates to May, and given that it is May, I just wanted to mention this really quick. Uh, so here I do have these vertical lines drawn here. These are lows that were hit before pretty big rallies, and so the first one here was May 11th, 2021. The second one was on May 12th, 2022, and the third was May 15th of 2023. And so what I've done here is I've connected these first two pivot lows uh, to form the bottom of what looks like this wedge. And then I connected the first two pivot highs uh, to make the top of this wedge. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty interesting because we're coming up on May 11th through the 15th when these lows were hit. So I'm wondering if a low will be hit then, and that could represent a great dip buying opportunity. And so just zooming in on the chart here, we can see that we have broken below that lower trend line, uh, but we have more recently broken out of the upper trend line, both of those trend lines, and we are trading above them. And so it does represent a breakout from that falling wedge. Uh, but, you know, there is still quite the possibility that we do go lower, perhaps before or after earnings, and then that could be a great dip buying opportunity. And, you know, staying above both of these trend lines now, we would be staying above the bottom one. And that would be coming down to, you know, a price of, you know, right around a dollar, dollar. 25 maybe dollar 50 I don't really see that happening and so I do think that we have broken out of that pattern and uh, you know we could be seeing lows or maybe we've seen the lows at 225 that was hit on April 25th and so you know maybe that was a great dip buying opportunity before a pretty big rally that we might be seeing uh, but then just zooming in here on the chart a couple things that have stood out to me uh, one is this green line at two dollars and 24 cents that was i believe a pivot high many years ago just drawn that forward it did seem to be uh, a pretty important level considering that we got a bounce right around there hitting a low of $2.26.3 on January 18th, and then again, 225 on April 25th. And so I do think that might be a double bottom and that we could be seeing price uh, not returning to that level moving forward. Uh, but I do think that we might be bumping into some resistance potentially before earnings as I do have this yellow line marked here at 283, which was the low hit on February 26th. And so, you know, considering that was a level of support before, I do think that will be a level of resistance moving forward. And as you can see for the trading day of today, Friday, May 3rd, the high of the day was $2.78. So not being able to get to that yellow level, and it does look like we might be putting in a big wick, so maybe we will be bumping into resistance there, maybe getting rejected from that level, following earnings, and then like I said, I do think that would be a good dip buying opportunity. And then another level that I do have marked is $3, this red line here, that just being a psychological level, you know, three whole dollars. Uh, so that is one to be paying attention to. Uh, but then I also have this downtrend drawn uh, going from the high hit on February 1st, which was at a price of $5.14, and then connecting the other pivot point with the high hit on March 21st. And so we have resided below that downtrend, only getting one close above it, uh, but we might be getting another close above it today. And so, uh, you know, I do view that as 
a potential breakout, but because of this downtrend, because of this breakout that we're seeing, we might see a return to the scene of the crime. So maybe that would coincide with earnings, a pullback to maybe $2.24, and that would be two levels of support there, one being 224, this historical level that I've gone over, uh, which you know does correspond with a double bottom here. So there's gonna be a lot of support there, and then also that being a return to this downtrend the scene of the crime, that could be a great launching point for this trend that I've pointed out uh, following you know, mid-May bottoms and then pretty big rallies that have followed. And then before I do close this video, I did just want to point out where that green line does originate from. That was this pivot high here hit on December 6th of 2013, that was at a high of $2.24. So that is you know, what we are looking at now. That might be a great dip buying opportunity if we do pull back, but if not, you know, I do think May has been a pretty great level, a pretty great time to be buying shares as we can see you know, these massive rallies following mid-May, and so that's where we're at right now. And so that's what I'm looking forward to, and I'm looking forward to streaming the earnings call coming up on May 9th, uh, so I'll hope you join. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and make sure you tune in to the live stream of their earnings call. Thanks a lot for watching.